when you install the software and open the software that this will be the default view and that is the drawing of it that is a demo drawing of autocad electrical in which you can see the different types of blocks and the reports which i was talking about mm, these reports are very important because they, they will show the the number of components what components and how many quantity of those components will be used in that drawing or in the whole project so these reports are very important in reading the drawings so while starting working on autocad electrical software or any other software whether you are working on any software the first thing you have to know about is to to remember the names of the different sections of that software so these are the different names of interface sections of autocad electrical software we will go in detail in the next lecture what these uh, what are these um, sections and how we can divide the whole software workspace in these different tabs so these are very important we will um, go through every each and every tab in next lex lectures if you have work on autocad software you will know about these commands but if you don't know about these commands then you have to work on these commands you have to remember or you have to go through all these commands to work on these because these are just autocad general commands we will touch most of the we will touch all the commands in our lectures in the coming lectures gradually in all the lectures we will go through all these commands but you have to remember these commands because we because we will not going in much deep in about these commands so these are just the general autocad commands like line limits units what these what these commands are used for you can go through the details about these commands yeah that is autocad electrical commands and this is all about our lectures we will talk about most of the time we will deal with these commands and electrical components as you can you, uh, you know about that in electrical drawings wires and components are the two basic building blocks of these drawings so these all are related to wires and components either we will insert components or added the attributes of components added components insert wires ladders symbol builders these are all related to electrical so if you see with all these uh, with all these commands you will find ae at the start of each and every command so ae actually represent autocad electrical so these are electrical commands so we for with every electrical commands you will find these ae before as a prefix of every command you can see the trim is general autocad commands but for autocad electrical its prefix will be ae to trim a wire so there is the difference between autocad simple autocad commands and autocad electrical commands managing workspaces this is not important for starting for a startup or for beginners the workspaces are important when when you became an expert in the software and you will design different drawings for clients then you will have to manage your workspace or manage your tabs according to your requirements for your easiest way like sometime you will need the ribbon more more than other tabs then you have to manage all each and every tab according to your management so it will all depend and we will talk about these uh, how we can make changes in workspaces in the next lectures how we can 
increase the drawing area how we can hide or unhide some of the tabs we will talk about in detail